Hello, double hello, welcome to the world's only Kingdom Age channel, and welcome to this Apostles' Creed of uh, Chrislam, fundamental foundation under any faith. This is the faith of love. When asked if any other religion could ever be on planet Earth, Dalai Lama says, faith of love. <laughs> hello, hello, and this is unconditional love, the faith thereof. Gross darkness over this world has been the belief that love could be unconditional. There is no such thing. There has never been divine love on this world unless it was unconditional. And if ours can be, and I know ours can, then you know darn well that our beloved love of the ages, that he can. So blessed are those reading, hearing, and doing. Old things pass away, but then comes the new. Out of the darkness arises the light, and it's time to heed our Lord's light, brightest light of love. For I am the bringer of the restoration of all things, Matthew 17, 11, through God's word of love alone, not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love. And there are many things the Lord had to say to us before he left, but he told his apostles he could not bear them all. Bear, they could not bear it. People had to learn, and the Lord breathed upon those who he has desired to bring forth his finished work. But experience is the best teacher, and in many cases, the Lord has always let his own people make the biggest discoveries for themselves. Lead them to the water, and they shall drink if they're thirsty. So seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things of love shall be added unto you. And these are the days of Elijah when we can touch the uh, electricity of the Lord and it can go from the great white throne surging through us like AC and DC. And all we got to do is just get electrified. It's time to get passionate and turn on the light of love. And uh, so the Lord promised that he would send a word from above and would guide us in all truth and bring us to our remembrance all things that he had said. And the Lord said, all sin will be forgiven except the unforgivable sin. And many are going to say, Lord, Lord. He's going to say, I don't know you. You let your light of love go out. Spiritual uh, suicide because he is love living within us that just wants to touch us and to electrify us. And if we can get into that, we can jumpstart ourselves and have our faith and love moving as a child more than ever before because the truth is those who love are born of God born again and know him because he is love so therefore it's time that we get electrocuted from the Lord and let him be uh, the lightning of our passion and the thunder of our purpose as we leave the safety of the shores to go out to the deep because he has said uh, and warned us that the ignorant and the crafty would arise and they would ascribe unto me many things that I never said. And you know, one thing that he never said was that you have to believe in him. He said that even sin against him would be forgiven. If not believing in the Son of Man is a sin, then that would be forgiven by the word of his very own mouth. So praise God that it's always been about love and the, the, the harvest of love is on and it's right around the corner. And so these days, um, the days have come when the clouds have finally rolled away. The great white cloud of Matthew uh, 24, which is the great white cloud of Revelation 14, which is where the Lord has arisen to in order to send forth the sickle of his uh, love and to mount it into earth for his harvest because these are the days of his glory when the Lord is showing us that he 
has overtaken his reaper because he is the sower of the seed of love and there is nothing for any reaper to do for the harvest except to spread the message that Israel has inherited all mankind. Uh, Isaiah 54, 3, and now they are Chrislam, and so are all mankind, because our Lord God that prayed for man's unification in the Garden of Gethsemane with, with tears in his eyes, the, our Lord who prayed for him to arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, he has done it himself, and there is nothing much that we need to do because he has joined us together saying I will be your God you will be my people I will forgive your iniquity I will never remember it I will write my law my love upon your hearts beyond that no more will anybody need to be taught of me saith the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest so get a good electrical charge out of that and it'll jump start our batteries that we need for the Lord is the way, the truth, and the life, and the doctrine that he is taught of love is he. He says, I am love, and love is I. And so praise the Lord that these are the days of uh, the world needs to understand the gospel, everlasting gospel truth. And I am a bona fide gospel writer. If you don't believe me, I've got 24 hours of the passion of Christ. Uh, on this one of these channels I got two mountain channels but one thing's for sure if the world is good without the Sun man without eyes and a soul without understanding then it's good not to know but unto those desiring good things the Lord says I am the truest bread and the living vine and that bread arises living bread if only we will take and eat thereof and know that the fathers of God's children ate manna in the wilderness and they are dead now that was then this is now this food at this mountain of Isaiah 25 the mountain of the banquet of love is is of God which comes down from heaven like manna and we can get electric charge again and again if we will just plug in to his peace that he desires to send. And he says that uh, whoever eats of his living food that will feed our spirits and not our uh, soul, that um, we will discover that he is the living food that came down from heaven. And if anyone eats of that, they shall live forever. And the wine that he offers is his very life that was slain for all of us before the foundation of the earth. So the, the Lord says, Happy are those following my way, but unhappy are those who despises wisdom. And so praise God, it came to pass that the Lord gave me a dream. And it is written in the uh, word of uh, Job that uh, God gives dreams and opens the ears and eyes of our understanding when he can uh, speak to to us so praise God uh, it came to pass that I Daniel the the son of Hubert and Lower Lois Housley of Detroit Michigan Motor City Shakedown it came to pass that the Lord gave me a, a, a powerful dream I have had open-eyed visions in um, in uh, in reality and I was not on drugs or nothing like that. I'm talking the blessedness of God blew over me and I ended up writing for 20 years, 20 years because of, of that, that happening. And uh, it's something I've never been able to stop because uh, I'm, he supercharged me. This vision has been for the appointed time at the end and at the end it has come and it has not lied. You may behold me whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by my faith, even though I'm transgressed by wine, even though I'm one whose eyes are red and dull of wine, of Genesis 49, 12. I am Shiloh. I am not, uh, the, the world is not waiting for Christ as Shiloh. Jesus never had eyes dull and red of wine, people. I'm the alcoholic of Habakkuk too. that was foretold to bring forth God's greatest vision 
of love where his glory will begin covering the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass covering the lands, as sands covering the most desolate of deserts, and as lilies covering ponds, snow covering the mountains. So praise God, it's time to get into the newness of his electricity to let his flow of love prevail through us. So it came about uh, that Peter had asked a question and uh, I had a scene. So uh, it came about that I heard the velvety voice of our beloved and the living waters of his word were alive and they were active. And it came to pass that exactly as it was foretold in Daniel uh, 12, 9, God's word opened to me and it had to so that he could send forth the message of Malachi 3, 1, his word, his message to prepare his way. And so I heard the velvety voice of our beloved love of the ages, our majesty of majesties. He said, few people will be saved uh, by their uh, by their own merits. Their, uh, it's all what he has done for us, not what we have done for us, seeing that men rarely consider our end. So the Lord says, as God lives in whose presence my soul does stand, I say most truly that every doctrine turning man aside from his end, which is the Lord God, is a most evil teaching. Therefore, there are three things that men should consider in any doctrine. Uh, in order to guard our beliefs, we need our beliefs guarded and the Lord is not coming to tear anything down that he's not willing to give us something far far better in the days of the latter day Daniel so we might shine as the stars that we were fearfully and wonderfully created to be all us angels of love and know that uh, so it's time that the Lord is saying this it's time to embrace the the, the doctrine of love towards God pity towards one's neighbor and hatred towards ourselves uh, who has offended God every single one of us has gone of our own way and all of our righteousness has been as filthy rags and so has all of our understandings good bad and different because it's always been about him and not about us it's because he is saying I will be your God you will be my people I will forgive it your iniquity never remember it sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years as it is written in Daniel 12 1 I am Elijah I am Shiloh I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12 13 that is my name who has embraced my destiny as the revelator I was told when I was 30 years old my identity by a prophet and I know just Al Alexander the Great had the same thing happen and I know what happened to him and so will love conquer this earth through his Elijah task servant. I, even though I've wasted all my time in vain, Isaiah 49, uh, the Lord will yet have his way in the storm of our unloving ways because there is no darker ignorance than the ignorance of love alone. And so the Lord says, uh, wherefore every doctrine that's contrary to those things avoid because that is most evil but concerning prophecy all must be uh, embraced most carefully and all that's good embraced muhammad said uh, my people have no ground to stand upon no people unless they stand upon uh, upon the gospel of love uh, the law and all revelation coming from the lord but people are so apostate in this day and age they cannot embrace anything that does not tickle their ears and why this faith is not tickling their ears? It's purest religiosity. Uh, Israel has inherited all mankind, and they are now Jerusalem. And it is foretold in Isaiah 41. They wouldn't say a mumbling word, but that's okay, because if you read that prophecy, the rest of the world will realize that I'm right about everything that I'm preaching. It says so, because... Uh, this has been preached since the beginning and is it's clearly written in the Word of God and this shall be considered in the latter days everything that I'm saying because in these latter days the Lord God has now arisen as the Good Shepherd over all the flocks of man so that we can all have the Christ the Christ consciousness and in these days of Elijah uh, Israel 
is now Chrislam, and they have inherited all the loving Christians and Islamic who have not committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And uh, so it praised the Lord. The Apostles' Creed uh, came forth uh, in a new way, fresh unto me. And uh, all people of Chrislam who believe in the word of love, we will all believe in one God, the infinite, the secret fountain of living water, our eternal, everlasting Father, whose name is Emmanuel, God with us. Was he ever a son of God? No, he was uh, God in the flesh. Is he the son of God? Most certainly so, that is his name. But understand of him, uh, think of mercury also, mercury in three, four pieces and little beads, they're all mercury, whether it's a part or put it back in one big solid ball, it's still mercury, it does not change. And God has never changed. God is God. The oneness of love has always been transcendental. So praise God that all in all, through all in all, and uh, this holy trinity of love that the world will now embrace because he has embraced us, we will discover that every tongue and every mouth will um, confess love who is the Lord and every knee shall bow and we all will believe in the one Lord the perfect holy Christ who whose love is undefiled unadulterated and totally unconditional for one and all for if he threw one person walking as a child of in love who's not under any condemnation as his word says if he threw one person in hell he would be a liar and Satan has been removed. One of the first things was last, last was first, because God has given his covenant openly, saying, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, never remember it. Sending Satan right to the pit, because otherwise Satan, as being the accuser of the brethren, day and night before the Lord, accusing him of us, he would have made God into a liar. So it's time that we believe in one Lord, the perfect Holy Christ, the God of all, who w believes upon him, the light of lights, who was born to be the most awesome light of light ever begotten. And we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three personalities in one essence, undivided, uh, bonded together by um, love and adoration and benevolence for one and all. And the, our living victory is as the electric, and we can come unto him and he will shine through us and allow us to be mirrors of his beauty and of his holiness if we will allow and know that our great I am may manifest as father son and spirit unto every perfected soul as he wills and every soul has the chance to be perfected into the body of Christ and to be a perfected as the bride of Christ so that we might share in the mind and the unity of love and our Rabboni, Savior, Redeemer, friend, who came from heaven and returned unto us, has taught us well the most blessed way of life. He suffered under Pontius Pilate uh, and was released by Pilate. Uh, and he was crucified and he was entombed and descended into paradise below, not hell. And it was twas also he that rose again incomparable, incorruptible, and ascended into the most majestic glory imaginable, from thence giving all the world, all over the circle thereof, his unending light, love, and life unto everyone willing to receive. And all people of Chrislam will come to believe in the utter truth that um, the Spirit of God, the life giver, has come forth as the dove of ages and the most regal eagle of the eons from Elohim, our Godhead, Allah, who is Adonai, who is Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over all of us. So let that electrify your, your soul and let the electricity follow your heart and supercharge you unto overflowing. And know that it was the holy presence of the eons that swooped down as a dove of love and because he is also the most regal eagle of the eons and because he is love 
He has always had his way and his arms have never been too short to, to save. And we, we, we get, just got to get along in the sandbox, which he is about to teach us. And so praise God that all the faithful receiving him can light up from within, for it's appointed unto that majestic regal of the eagles to blaze like a refiner's fire of love in the world, to light up all darkened souls that seeks the light of truth within us. So praise God that uh, the Lord's mercy endures forever. And uh, it's time to realize that the comforter of the age is just as uh, he spoke unto all the prophets of all time. He has spoken uh, new understanding of old revelation. Um, there's people like Alan um, Parr of the Beat saying, you don't listen to nobody ever, ever, about prophecy now. Well, how in the heck can you restore all things? You can't make bricks without uh, uh, straw people, and you cannot restore all things without revelation of revelation. These people have their head up their butt. And uh, people like uh, Acts uh, 17, apologize, David Wood, love the guy, but uh, he's got nothing to say to me. He's got no words because there's nothing he could say to me because everything I'm saying is written in the Bible and he has no response to that. So, hey, David, what's going on? <laughs> it's just ignorance. But know that all people of love will believe in the holy apostolic church, which is a building of st living stones from all over the world. And we will bear witness to all truth because the receiver of the same is our Lord of life. And the begotten of the spirits and the fire of God does he bring for uh, he alone in his mouth is the one that has his, his word come alive as fire unto those willing to walk in passion of his charity, moving as a great ocean of benevolence. And uh, so praise God, it's time for his living waters to arise and supercharge us as we're getting electrified by his most fervent word of love for every everything that um, he would say. Uh, because these are either going to be days as a Noah with the complete undoing of um, uh, Zephaniah 1-1, one, one, no birds, no fish, no man left on the world, or... Jesus is faithful and true, and he has cut these days short with his word opening anew. There is no other way on earth for uh, days to be cut short except by God's flowing word. And I'm sure all of you will agree that is what happened in Daniel 12, uh, 9. It was only closed until the time of the end. So all those willing to receive the, the Lord's greatest light, uh, they can be supercharged and fall onto your knees and receive uh, our Lord's greatest love with with a humble heart, knowing that he wants to embrace you and to have your back always. And all people of Chrislam will believe that the Holy Spirit knits together all the elect in the holiest, holy commun communion of the living sacrament of his flowing living wine. And it will bring forth atonement and sanctification for all people of love. And because our Prince of Peace is the uh, Prince of Peace, he has now sanctified the name of Allah as a name. It has never been a name before. It has only just been a title that just means God. But in these days, our Prince of Peace, of whom I am the messenger of, he has sanctified the name of Allah to help bring peace between Islamics and uh, Jews and Christians because I am the spiritual viceroy of uh, Pope Francis who has declared that the three religions worship the same exact Lord of love. And so praise God that uh, the, the precious blood of the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the earth. And we know and have confidence that his blood covering will sanctify, justify, and make holy anyone who's not walking after the ways of lovelessness. So praise God, and with great thanksgiving, 
Let the wise understand that the Holy Spirit of life, most abundant, will always be making us partakers of the Lord's divine, everlasting life as long as we keep our love light on. Leave the land of the walking dead where we have an appearance of godliness and deny the power thereof, having let our love wax cold and become just a, a noun instead of a, a, a verb when we were as little children. So commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, but know that all sin will be forgiven, even, Jesus said, uh, sin against him. So if believing not in him uh, was a sin, that it too is forgiven. Because his everlasting covenant has been over all of mankind everlastingly since the very first man walked the earth, Adam. And Adam and Eve had no belly buttons. That's revelation of revelation. And the very moment that Isaac lifted, the, Abraham lifted the knife over Isaac, it, within that moment it, it, it committed Emmanuel into coming into the world. For if he did not, it only would have proved that man had the capability to love God more than God had the capability to love man. So people know that the spirit of life abundant is wanting to make us partakers in the revelation of revelation to bring forth Christ's divine life that has now been given so freely by our hero of heroes. So let's all look towards the second majestic coming of our body king of kings bodily because this is now the second coming of his word has opened his message of malachi 3 1 for all the nations all the tribes just as revelation 14 said that john's word must go again to all people that all those who love are born again and know god because god is love first john 4 7 if you're a loving atheist you're a born again atheist if you're a loving hindu you're a born again hindu if you're loving whatever, you are born again that. And so praise God, this is the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 9, or Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed till the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9, in the days of the latter day, Daniel 12, uh, 13, causing Satan to be removed, Daniel 12, 1. As it was in the beginning, so will it be at the end. And praise God that uh, Satan's removal happened one of the last things in the Bible. But we leaned onto our understanding. We didn't realize that uh, the first or last, the last or first, because it was at the end of the Bible, it was always meant to be one of the first things that would happen. Same thing with Google New Jerusalem, NASA. You'll see Hubble telescope pictures of it, undeniable. Uh, again, one of the first things that has come forth on earth instead of the last. Just as when the seventh trumpet sounded, because the first was last and the last was first in Daniel, or in Revelation 10, 7, immediately all nations became the Lord because the covenant was given correctly to Israel and all mankind. It says so in the Bible. I am the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. So praise the Lord that uh, we may all dwell in righteousness as we walk in love. But be not, you know, you got to fake it till you make it sometimes. You got to, you got to go two steps forward and one step back sometimes. You're still going in the right direction. So don't be too hard on yourself. Fake it till you make it. But it's time that the holy city goes forth. Uh, as we near, we will behold the twelve. Uh, the gates and the temple and altar of God. But I tell you truly, it is an inside job. So it's time to turn on that from joy. And the joy of our salvation shall the Lord give back unto all those willing to receive it. So as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. And as the souls of God's elect are purified, for that blessed time ahead, in the meanwhile, we're awaiting the resurrection of the dead and life everlasting of the just. And the just shall live by my faith, Habakkuk 2 foretold. And uh, so praise God that the ages of ages, the golden one, is arising. And according to prophecy, it shall be as Eden ahead of us so that we can rest in our beloved Lord of love evermore. But praise God, people, uh, that is the uh, Apostles' Creed of Chrislam's. And it's more potent and powerful than any other creed out there. So love from love. It's time for the Lord's passion. If people would just accept that I am who I'm claiming to be, and I have uh, revelation knowledge that makes all sense, 
then we can get along in the sandbox and have the kingdom age peace. If what I was preaching were true, it would bring undeniably kingdom age peace. So how in the hell could I be a false prophet if that could bring the world peace through God's word opening? <sighs> Who can stand against that? Stays for the refiner's fire of love. And I am Elijah. I'm Daniel. Pleased to meet you. Till next time.